What's going on guys? Levi the Tool Guy here. Uh, starting to do some new things on this channel. Um, I started my first uh, franchise ever, my own business, um, as a Cornwall quality tool dealer. So I'm gonna start touching base on doing some uh, tool truck tours, some product uh, reviews, and also just talking to you about what it's like to be a tool truck dealer or Cornwall dealer, um, just in general. Um, so today I wanna touch base on um, what it's like being a tool dealer, you know, the positives and the negatives, and uh, just give you guys a little tool truck tour as well. Um, so the first thing that I wanna to touch on um, is what it's like for those who are possibly questioning if they wanna get into being a tool dealer or not. Um, I, you know, a lot of times I'll have customers ask me or I'll literally be sitting in a gas station, somebody will come up to me and be like, hey, you know, what's it take to be a, a tool dealer? Um, now I will tell you, uh, if you're considering it going a, a certain brand, um, it all depends on what you're bringing to the table. You know, if you're a very, well, look, I'm younger, so I'm only 25 years old. Um, you know, it's, I don't really have a savings account that somebody else probably would at, you know, when they're 35, 40 years old. Um, so that's a big reason that I went with Cornwall because we're the cheapest to get into. Um, they don't charge you any kind of bull crap franchise fees or anything like that like you would with any other company. Um, literally all you pay for is your tool truck and your initial inventory and that's it. They don't charge you any kind of extra fees or anything stupid like that. Um, Cornwall is also a very, very tight knit family. Um, so like I'll call people out in corporate that I'll talk to you know every week and uh, they're very kind, very courteous. And um, also in my area, a lot of the Cornwall dealers out here, they're very willing to help you out. You know, some of the dealers that have been around five, six years have given me so much information, you know, great information since I've been in it. Um, it's a very tight knit family. Um, so something that I completely stand by and will always tell any of my customers, um, you know, I'll hear, I'll hear a lot of my customers or just people in general bashing a certain tool company, um, and it all leads back to the dealer. So I st will completely stand by a tool is only as good as the dealer that serves you. So I hear a lot of times, you know, I'll never buy this tool because this dealer was horrible. He'd never show up. He'd come every once in a while. He wouldn't warranty any of my stuff. He'd complain anytime I warrantied anything. Um, and then that just makes them look at that tool like, okay, these are crap. I never want to have anything to do with them. Um, I can agree and disagree with that. I can understand how that will completely turn you off to a certain tool brand. Um, but at the same time, you have to think that that's going to hurt another dealer in the future when, um, you know, you have a crappy dealer. And if that dealer leaves that area and a good dealer comes in, then they're going to look at that tool like, oh, I never want to buy anything from you because I got screwed in the past. Um, so it's understandable, but at the same time, you can't knock a tool or a tool company because of one person that screwed it up for you. Um, you know, I have a lot of guys that when I first showed up, you know, I'm only been in this about seven, eight months. Um, when I first showed up and, you know, they had a horrible Cornwall dealer that only stuck around for like a year and they're like, you know, you can start stopping by, but I'm not going to buy anything from you because I got burned in the past by them. And come to find out they've been some of my best customers and it just goes to show if you're a good dealer, you're honest, um, you know, you know exactly where each tool, like if, if there's a tool that you know is made in Taiwan, you tell that person uh, that's not made by us. It's, you know, rebranded or whatever. Um, so, uh, another thing that I really like about Cornwell is us and snap one are the only two that still make, um, some of our tools in house. Um, so it just gives you that kind of proud dealer moment whenever you can say, oh, that tool right there, yeah, that's made by us out in Ohio. Um, you know, it just gives you that sense of confidence of what you're selling. Um, so another thing with becoming a tool dealer, any tool dealer, I don't care what brand it is, you're gonna be putting in some serious hours. And a lot of people won't tell you that when you're getting into it, but you are going to put in crazy hours. I know when I started, you know, I was like, oh, I'm sure I'll be working like 55 hours a week. Uh, no, it's um, depending on how aggressive and how hard you want to hit it. You know, if you want to hit first, second shift, you know, go crazy, um, which is what I did. You're going to expect to work 75, 80 hours a week because that's what I've been doing ever since I started. And, uh, you know, weekends for stocking, cleaning the truck. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, if you have a significant other, a wife or whatever um, that can help you out with that kind of stuff 
include her in the business because they are going to help out immensely because there's no way that I could do this by myself without my wife. There's literally no way. There's so much that goes into it. Um, you know, it is possible. I know there are a lot of dealers who do it completely by themselves. Kudos to them. Personally, for me, the amount of, you know, stops that I have, customers that I have, there's physically no way that I could, you know, do as much as I'm doing without my wife. So that does help a lot as well. Um, so it all really just comes down to what you want and what, you know, brand you really want to promote um, when you're getting into it. Um, for me, it was Cornwell Quality Tools, and I'm so glad that I did it. You know, you, you look at each tool brand and, you know, what it costs to get in initially and, you know, if they make their own tools. And there's a lot that goes into it. I would say just look at each company and really think about what you're looking to get out of your franchise. Um, so for me, it was personally Cornwall Quality Tools. And like I said, I've never looked back. It's definitely been the best um, move that I've ever made in my entire life. So um, yeah, if you guys ever have any questions, I'm going to link my Instagram um, in the bio. Uh, it's just Levi the Tool Guy on Instagram or Facebook. If you guys ever had any questions or anything like that, I'd love to be able to answer them for you. If you're looking at getting into a franchise, um, I can connect you with a district manager wherever you're located. Um, just let me know and I can definitely get you hooked up and uh, I can definitely answer any questions you have. So enough talk. I'm sure I'll touch on uh, some more of this stuff in the future. Um, right now, I'm going to give you guys a little tour on the tool truck. Um, I It's currently this coming Friday. It's Sunday night. This coming Friday is going to be Black Friday. So it's kind of a mess in here right now, honestly. I've got a ton of stuff that I got like 30, 50% off deals on. Um, so it's pretty jam-packed in here right now. Uh, but I will show you guys what I got going on here quick. All right, so like I said, um, unfortunately it is nighttime uh, right now, it is dark out, so I can't show you the outside of the truck, um, but I will give you the inside tour here. Um, so as you first walk in, I've got some fun little things here. Um, this is where I just keep my like lighters, I carry Zippos, um, just some fun stuff, tasers, knives, stuff like that up here in the front. And then I've got some cool things that you can see when you're coming up in or leaving, just some uh, small stuff, some Lyle stuff, some scraper sets that I got on a really good deal. Um, just stuff as guys are leaving the truck or whatever, they can just take a look at and um, decide if they want it or not or whatever. Um, so I got that up here. We'll ignore that area because it's filthy right now. And then I've got my knife display, my CRKT knife display. I also sell Kershaw um, as well and a couple other um, brands as well, Shreds. Um, so I got my knife display there, up in the roof, some signs. Uh, I just started filling up this area because um, I've been in a little bit longer. I'm getting a little bit more inventory under my belt here. Um, some swords, just some random cool stuff just to look at on your way out. And then as we move into the back of the truck, uh, right now I have a used Mac box here um, that I just picked up today from a customer who bought a 84 inch platinum with the, they're doing a deal right now. If you buy an 84 inch platinum um, or uh, they're doing it with the pro series as well, you get a free hutch with it. Um, so he got in on that really good deal and trading in his old Mac box. Um, so I got that back in here, this back in this corner right here. Um, and then up top, I've just got some specialty tools, mostly Lyle stuff, um, just pullers and uh, whatnot. Some of those specialty tools, flaring tools. Um, and then I always, I really utilize my hooks as you can see here. Oh, geez, I almost fell over. Um, yeah, I really utilize them, keep stuff in the roof and whatnot. Um, and then I got my, my wrenches are a little bit lacking right now. I actually recently sold a, a ton of wrenches to one guy who wanted a full set of wrenches. So, um, I've got some stubbies in there, some crow feet. Um, these are our U S made wrenches, um, some stubbies there. And then I've got some, uh, double end flare nut wrench. These are made in Ohio by us as well. Um, double boxes that I got on a really good deal, 114 bucks for both of those, 21 and a 22 and a 24 and a 27. Pretty dang good deal there. Um, and then I've got, yeah, just wrenches, not really a whole lot to say there. Um, and then down here, I've just got some sockets, which actually is a little bit empty right now as well. Some swivel sockets I got 50% off right now. Um, some BOGOs and whatnot on sockets, magnetic sockets. 
some twist sockets, bolt extractors. Um, these are our new handles. I don't know if you guys have ever seen these on your corner wheel truck yet. Um, they just switched over. They used to have those big bulky square handles. Um, and now they're these nice slim handles, which I've heard a lot of, some people really like those square handles. Um, if you've got bigger hands, they're nice because you can really get some torque on them. Um, I personally like these because I don't have huge hands. So um, it's kind of nice just to grip those as well. Um, I did something a little bit different with these sets. I got like blue and green sets in and I kind of mix matched them. So you get blue and green. I thought that would be kind of cool. Um, these are not screwed. I don't know if I've been saying screwdrivers. These are not screwdrivers. Uh, these are um, long star screwdrivers, I guess. So um, so that's a pretty decent set there I got on sale. Uh, moving over, just a whole mess of all kinds of bits in here. Um, socket bits. I've got all kinds of stuff in there. Triple square, star sockets, um, all the nine yards. And then, sorry, I got the battery low percentage there. Uh, moving down, I've got some pick sets on a really good deal right now. This, these are part of a Black Friday deal. Um, I've got some long screwdrivers, all our new handles. I did the same thing here. I kind of switched up the sets so you got blue and green together. Um, I got a master ball joint super set. These, are, I believe, are made by OTC. Um, pretty decent set for $2.99. Uh, some slide hammers and whatnot. Um, and then moving down here, I've got a whole bunch of torque wrenches. They're doing a torque wrench deal. If I bought a whole bunch, I got them for, for a pretty good deal. So I've got some digitals in here, um, some twist handles and whatnot. Um, I also just got a torque wrench tester, um, as well that I'm going to be putting in here soon. So We've got torque wrenches down there, and I've got a really good deal. I thought these would sell pretty good. They haven't been selling too well. Um, I think that a lot of people don't really want, if you're doing a double box, I don't think people really want a box on both ends. They'd rather have an open end on one end. Um, but you get both sets, eight through a 27 with just a few skips for 349, but I've been doing for 299. Um, pretty dang good deal for all those wrenches. And then moving on, I just got a couple random things down here on the floor. Um, I've got a big old hammer. Uh, I just got this one, a really good deal. A nice little smoke machine that's like 50% off. Um, more lights. And then there's something else I saw that I wanted to show you, and I can't remember. What, oh, um, just some bit ratchet display here. Um, I actually just got this in yesterday. These are pretty sweet. Um, these are made by Vim. Um, these, so there's, it's a three eighths here. I'll pull it out and show you guys. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's a three eighths and quarter inch quarter stick. Um, and then you can, it's got a flex head on it and then you can actually pull these bits out as well and use them as like a bit driver. So if you push down on that button, kind of hard to do it one handed, but that does pull out and you can use it as a little bit driver. Um, so I really like these things. I have one in my toolbox. I use it all the freaking time. Uh, they're fine tooth. Ooh, just listen to that. Oh, yeah, sounds good. Um, and moving on to over here, um, I've got a work stand here that I just kind of got roped up right now. That's on a really killer deal. Um, just some odds and ends in here. I got a brake tool set, some scraper sets. Um, this shelf is a little bit empty right now, but I got a couple random things. Um, some pliers, and then I got all my punches down through here. A um, whole bunch of different punch sets. Um, these are made by us as well. Uh, made out in Ohio. Proud to say it. Um, we are Milwaukee dealers. So we can sell and service Milwaukee products. So I do have on this bottom shelf all of our Milwaukee products um, that I should probably organize because this is a mess right now. Uh, just some batteries and whatnot. I try to carry some of the more popular stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. These little um, mini chainsaws. These things are freaking sweet. 12 volt. Um, can't go wrong with it. These, these are really nice. I bought one just to clear ATV trails and whatnot. When I'm out at my cabin, um, just freaking throw it in a backpack and clear some ATV trails are pretty sweet. Uh, moving up here, this is where it gets a little packed. Um, I did sell some decent, a decent amount. I had a half inch impact and uh, I can't remember what else was there, a quarter inch or something. Um, so this is usually packed full, but it's a little bit empty now. Um, I installed some of these battery holders here just to display my batteries. Um, usually I've got up to the 12 volt, but I'm waiting for those to come back in. 12 volt displays for the 12 volt batteries. And then I've got our hammers. We just came out with the orange 
uh, which I'm very happy about because I really like the high-vis orange colors. Um, just a couple different hammers there, US made. Um, moving on, I've got my pneumatic stuff over here. Um, some impacts, half-inch drive impacts, 3 8 cutoff wheels, ratchets, which nobody freaking uses these anymore. I think I've had this sitting on my truck for, I don't know, maybe up two months. Um, and then these aren't far behind it either. Everybody's using cordless ratchets now, so I don't sell a whole lot of those. Um, and then I just switched my lights over to here. So I got my stream lights. Um, oh, I've got a killer deal right here. Look at that two piece die grinder set. Usually $199, got for $89. Bucks. Smoking deal. And yeah, going back to flashlights, I got the stingers in here. I got the 2020 stinger, some of our blue ion lights, which are really, really nice. Um, this one I think is something crazy. I just got this one in. It's like, I'm not going to pull it out, but um, it is part number on that is a CBI 3300. And it is 3,300 oh, 3, lumens, as bright as crap. Um, some other cool little lights here, stream lights, um, switch blades and whatnot. Um, and then moving on, I've got a NOCO. Very mixed opinions on these. Um, I own one, I own the GB50. I use it all the time. I actually really like it. Um, I know CP the Tool Addict and there's a couple other guys who just absolutely hate these things. I think they're okay. Um, I know there are some better ones out there, um, but really, I mean, I, I think they're decent for what they are. Um, plus, I think they come with a one year or two year warranty, so. Um, if anything goes wrong with them, they, I, the, the part I really like about them is these leads are really nice, like really nice, thick leads, um, which a lot of the other jump packs don't have. Um, so that's something I really like, uh, moving on. I've got some picks in here, some pick sets, um, and then going on to some body stuff, some hammer and dolly sets, um, some little clip removers, heat gun, and I've got a nice, this set is pretty sweet. Um, it's a little pneumatic polisher kit. Um, Got it on a good deal, $109.99. And then, yeah, drew block sets and whatnot back in there. Um, here I got some oil and lube stuff, some filters, nothing real exciting up there. Um, and then up here, I kind of just keep, keep some miscellaneous stuff. I got a power probe, um, assistant coolant refiller, uh, some welding helmets and some socket racks back in there too. Um, again, really utilizing these, um, my roof here. Got a whole bunch of random things up here brushes and whatnot moving on to the back wall is a lot of tool dealers will do this all lyle stuff and um stuff that i can just either staple or velcro to my back wall um just some little things in here got a little sign down there um walkie pack out i do try to carry um that most of the time that stuff most of the time i really really like this stuff um, they actually make a for any other dealers out there that's trying to sell milwaukee they make um one of the dealers in the facebook page uh, showed me this, but they make this little bracket here that I actually hook on to, um, I'm blanking on the name of those E tracks or whatever they're called. We'll actually hook on and then you can just slide your, um, pack out stuff into it, which is pretty sweet. And then like I was saying with the mess, um, all this stuff is black Friday stuff. I just could not fit onto the black Friday shelf, $40 socket sets, really good deal on those. Um, I think this full set is like $2.99. It's a pretty dang good deal. Uh, one of my favorite Cornwall lights, I got these for dirt cheap. I think they discontinued them, and these are a little bit bent, so I'm selling them for like 30 bucks a piece. Um, they're a pretty dang good deal. And moving on up here, I got one of our power carts. I freaking love these things. These are some of the best carts out there. Um, they are unlike, I think we're probably one of the, there's, there's people that make um, power carts, but I think this is really unique. I'm going to open this door just so you can check it out. Um, so what you got here is, uh, a rack for your battery impacts. You got a spot for your batteries or whatnot. Um, second little shelf there, um, where you can put chargers and then another shelf where you can put more chargers. And there's a um, power strip back there with USBs and four outlets, I believe, or th yeah, four outlets and two USBs. So you can put a whole bunch of chargers up here and here. Um, and then you also have, probably won't be able to show it. It's probably going to be, oh, you can't see it. Uh, there's a second power strip up there as well. A nice deep top, five drawers. They are fantastic. So if you're thinking about getting a cart, these are one of the best deals out there, really. Um, they are pretty much usually always on sale. Um, so definitely ask your Cornwall dealer about them because they're, they're good deals. 
Moving on, I got just a bunch of random stuff. This is stuff that I have on Black Friday deals, liquidated 30, 40% off, half inch, three eighths and quarter inch extension swivels for 99 bucks, usually $232, smoking deal. A um, bunch of other random stuff. Um, I got one of these Milwaukee SDSs. This was demoed like once. And so it's got like a little scratch here and whatnot, but it works perfectly fine. Guy literally demoed it once and um i got a really good deal it's usually like 350 bucks i got it for 99 dollars used one time good deal uh just like i said hammers random stuff that i've got on my uh on my black friday specials up here i keep all my stream light boxes um just a couple multimeters and whatnot um boroscopes just some odds and ends um you can barely see this back shelf here but up there i usually just keep some miscellaneous milwaukee stuff if people ask about it because i don't have room um, down in my bottom Milwaukee section. Um, and then I, like I said, utilizing them hooks, stream lights, um, the Stylus Pros and whatnot. These are the best. I freaking love these lights. I use these all the time. Uh, this is a Maxion Cyclops, they call it. 720 lumens, nice magnetic base that actually sticks. Um, USB rechargeable, and they are cheap. They're like $34 on sale right now, I think. So, pretty good deal. And utilizing them hooks some more. I think I already showed you guys this stuff, gloves and whatnot. And that brings us to the favorite spot, the jerky aisle. Oh yeah. I don't think I make any money off this stuff because I eat most of it. So um, I've got this stuff, this divine bovine stuff is some of my favorite jerky. It's like brisket jerky, and then they got I got bacon jerky as well. It's really, really good. Um yeah, and I think that is pretty much what I got here, um, I usually keep merch. I, th I think I forgot to show that. I keep merch and stuff up in here as well. Um, I'm actually a little bit lacking with my merch right now. I don't have a whole lot, but usually I'll have jackets and flannels and hats. I think I only have one hat in here right now. Um, but yeah, just all that good stuff. So um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I will keep you guys updated. Oh shoot, I totally forgot about my roof. Uh, so up here, the roof is a little bit light right now, but I've got half inch drive ratchets, all made out in Ohio, our three eighths ratchets, all made out in Ohio, and a quarter inch ratchets, which are, I need to get some more in there. I'm lacking a little bit. Um, some different pliers, nip X, hose clamp pliers, more nip X, more nip X. Look at that big boy. That thing is sweet. Um, yeah, nip X, nip X, nip X. And then moving down, I've got some of our pliers. Um, down through here and then I got some scraper sets and some other pliers these are the best I think snap one makes these same ones rebrands these same ones but they put a different handle on them um, but I think we sell them cheapest they're 59 usually I think they're on sale for 49 bucks uh, they did do a price increase on those though I will tell you because they used to be 49 and when they go on sale they were 39 dollars so unfortunately the way the world is now everything's going up in price so but they are the nicest here i'll just pull them down here real quick you got the crimper on the front stripper on the back and the cutter on the back it makes life so much easier and they're so small i mean look at that in, on my hand i mean usually when you're getting a crimper uh they're huge they've got those big handles these are really nice for tight spots and whatnot uh, i use mine all the time for my bikes my four-wheelers and my um motorcycle and stuff like that so so yeah, and then uh, lastly, we've got our new screwdrivers. I put, just put a set in here. Uh, if you have a Cornwell dealer, you will know that these were on back order forever. It was like three months. Um, and I'm still have like, I think I have like 150 sets still on order that I haven't gotten yet. So yeah, um, that is what I got. Uh, my truck is constantly changing, constantly moving stuff around. Um, I'm never happy with how it is. So, um, I'm always moving around. So I'll, I'll, I'll do like a little tool truck haul, um, or not tool truck haul, a little tool truck tour every once in a while and just show you guys what I got going on. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I know there's some things I need to improve on yet, um, which will get better with time. Um, if you could drop a like, a comment, let me know what I could do better or what you enjoyed. Um, like I said, I constantly, I just want to do some videos about, you know, explaining what it's like to be a tool dealer. Um, give you some um, product knowledge and just show you some new products that I'll be getting in in the future. Um, and again, I will like, link my uh, Facebook and my Instagram in the bio. So if you go over there 
hit me with a follow. Um, and if you have any questions or anything about becoming a dealer, just let me know. Shoot me a message or whatever. I'll get back to you. Um, thank you guys for watching. Remember, buy the blue, save the green. Thanks, guys.